Hey, it's Scotty. I am back in Palmdale at the Palmdale Animal Care Center, and that is also the animal shelter here. And I'm going to pick up a bunch of pregnant girl piggies. We're going to be taking them to a couple different rescues uh, in California. One very small and very sweet rescue in Los Angeles and another one in San Diego. So let me jump in here and I'm going to get this work done. There yeah. was a woman who brought in this box yeah. full of guinea pigs and it had a sign that said free on it. And she said she saw them on the side of the road. She thought it was kittens or something like oh that. Oh my gosh. So, so the uh, person who brought them here just found them. It yeah. wasn't. You know, a lot of times people say, oh, they're stray because in some places there's a surrender fee. Right. But well, unless I mean, you went to all that trouble to mock up a sign. I mean, yeah. So here's some of them. Yeah, and then I'm going to take a few more. But yeah, I'll load these up. I could probably, it's probably best if I hold one, you know, just take one box at a time. Okay. Unless you want to. You take a box, I'll take a box. Yeah, and, and then, then you can leave that box in the lobby at least and then we're. Yep. Yeah, we're like moving them like baby ducks. Absolutely. So there's an extra pregnant girl in here, and there's a, a bunch of uh, uh, little youngish boys. So I'm going to take those ones, and hopefully they will all find a place at these two rescues. But if not, then I'll just have to deal with them at home. Even though 16 are going to go home with me today, we're still leaving behind 12 of them some of them very young and I just wanted to do an inventory so I was shooting video this boy has mange which he's really high on my priority list I've got to go back and get him and I've got to go back and get as many as I can if a boy with mange is adopted by someone from the public they might not know what to do and mange slowly gets worse until they end up having seizures and and as you know if you've watched any of my other videos about mange it it's not going to get better without treatment and it's a simple drop on the ear with the ivermectin liquid so i'm shooting this video to really assess who still is here there's 12 piggies a bunch of little boys and little girls and i got to get them all out so i'm definitely committed to doing that once I can find the rescues that will take them. Do I got a mark on my face from the mask? All right. Fenella at We Companions just said that she will take... There was an extra pregnant mama. Um, so I got all the paperwork. I feel so organized. They run a really tight ship. Well, let's quickly look at everybody. Okay. So these are the... Possibly, most likely, definitely, look at her. She's definitely pregnant. These are the pregnant mama and the four baby girls. I'm keeping, obviously, the pregnant and the babies uh, separate, the litter separate, because I don't want them all getting mixed up. Okay, so then here, you guys, there's a pregnant mama, or sorry, a, a mama and newborn baby, two babies right there. Okay. I gotta crank the AC, I guess. And then these are the four young boys. Three of them are young, and this guy is a little bit older. If Meg won't, Meg from the rescue garden, if she won't take this one, see how big he is, then uh, I'll have to just probably foster him. All right, so I've got an hour to get down to the LA guinea pig rescue, and I've got four adoptions today, and then we're gonna go rescue some hamsters. They're like in a little pile. They're so cute. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're melting my heart. I just got to the rescue and I'm giving these piggy some lettuce. Oh my gosh. And this face is just looking at me. It's like, what are you gonna do to me? Oh. What are you gonna do? That might be a little manginess. Here. <laughs> Look at this pile. Who's in here? Oh. 
Look at that little baby. And there's mama. Two little babies. Okay, I just want to give you some... Look at this one. Look at that little golden one. There you go. There's some lettuce for you. Mama, you need your strength. Oh. Here you go. Oh. Look at these little ones. These ones are totally newborns. Oh, Mama. You're so cute, Mama. She's like, what are you going to do to us? Nothing. I'm going to give you lettuce. Here. You need your strength. <laughs> There's Weed Whacker. There's always some loud noise going on. It's okay, boys. Calm down. It's <laughs> You guys are the only ones not eating. Maybe if I just get out of their face, they'll hear everyone else is eating lettuce. Look at these boys. They are a handsome group of... They all have crests. They're all little dorks. Look at those little dorks. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> these girls are going to town over here. Oh, man. The second half of the rescue story is usually the cutest part. The first half is where you hear the, the sad story and... Hopefully, it ends up being a very successful, happy story. Okay, now it's time for me to do adoptions. So, that's, let's get it done. Well, both of my 2 o'clock appointments canceled, which actually sucks from a standpoint of wanting to get guinea pigs adopted because there's no point in pulling them from the shelters if they can't find their forever home. But I'd be a lot more disappointed if I hadn't already done so much good today. Uh, just getting those piggies out <sighs> is a really important first step. Uh, but so now I'm going to go chop, chop some veggies for all the piggies. Hello. You're so pretty. Hello. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. oh, I don't have any veggies. I'm sorry. Am I teasing you? I'm not trying to tease you. Oh, is that, am I teasing you with the buckets? The piggies heard me put the bucket down, even though these buckets are for the front. You'd be surprised how long it takes to chop and fill this much veggies. Well, I gave these scaredy boys some veggies. They, uh, looks like they ate the lettuce. Hi, scaredy boys. Instead of the hardy boys, it's the scaredy boys. They would solve mysteries, but they're just too scared. Oh, oh, look at these crusty boys. Hi, crusties. I love piggies like this. I wonder if they're cooey. They certainly look cooey-esque. Only time will tell, I guess, how big they get. How big are you going to be? Oh, man. It makes me think of and miss Billy very much. I left the rescue and I drove to Santa Monica. And uh, now I'm about to go pick up the hammies. This is going to be four friendly dwarf hamsters. And everybody is going to go down to Wee Companions. Everybody except for those boys. Meg at the rescue garden is going to take the boys. Oh, look how red I am. Meg's going to take those young boys. Hopefully she won't be mad at me that one of them is older. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll foster him if he's too old to go to her rescue. So... We're almost there. I'm actually um, right down the street from the West LA Animal Shelter, which is right over there. But Rosie, who is a volunteer there, 
she lives this way just down the street a little bit so we're gonna go pick them up she was nice enough to pull them and to pay full civilian price and then I'm going to reimburse her Ta-da! Ta -da. I'm wearing my rescue garden t-shirt underneath this uh, thing man I got my rescue swag cuz right now I got my guinea pig sanctuary sweatshirt my rescue garden t-shirt yeah we got one of the little dwarf hammies he's sitting on a little box house and the piggy mamas have been moved into guinea pig cages this cage is stacked it is secure so it will not slide it is buffered against this taller cage everything's good to go so there goes Meg from the uh, rescue garden I want to do a profile about her rescue. I also want to thank Rosie, who volunteers at the West LA shelter. And without her, I don't think we would have been able to get these hammies down to the uh, We Companions. Got the fire, warming up the room. And this hammy's already on the wheel. Hey, you. Oh, this hammy's name is Manila. I only had the Syrian wheel <laughs> for one of these little hamsters and <laughs> I didn't know if uh, the weight of this little hamster would be enough to move it and I did get, I did push it to get this hammy going but hopefully if they, this hammy's name is Princess Zelda so hopefully if she can climb up to the top and get it going then she can really move fast I'm really glad <laughs> oh my god these hammies are so amazing <laughs> over the last couple hamster rescues that I've done I've really started to fall in love with hammies you know these dwarf hammies they get a bad rap as being biters but they are actually just so incredible. Um, you know, they're little. It's not like they're going to give you a big bear hug. But look, I'm trusting these hammies are not supposed to be biters. Come here. These hammies were only saved because they're supposed to be adoption ready. Come here. But I feel like the love they are supposed to give or not give is not the reason to get them. You can watch them and enjoy them. Okay, I gotta put the water bottles in and stop preaching. Princess Zelda hopped off this wheel and then she started it again. <laughs> Yeah, so that makes me feel good that a little hammy, it takes a certain balancing. But man, look how fast she can go. That is incredible. Oh my God, look at those feet. Oh man, I want to get some slow-mo real quick.
This is Manila. And man, these hammies are pretty friendly. And I guess it's the middle of the night, so they are ready to party. Right? You ready to party? <laughs> okay, I'm going to get these piggies situated. Well, everybody's in. <laughs> Everybody has their creature comforts. Water, food. The guinea pigs have hay. And they have Heidi's. And the hamsters have their wheels. And I put some food in there for them all. And, uh, well, they're saucers, not wheels. That one's over there running. Um, the pregnant girls are in the playpen. Pardon my shadow. And Mama is over here eating hay and lettuce. And uh, the other Mama is in Heidi over there. I mean, you know, it's not ideal, of course. They're only going to be here for a day, and then they're going. All of these guys are going to Wee Companions. So, so much thanks to Wee Companions because they're taking one mama and her two babies, four possible, at least three of these ones are definitely. I mean, look, that is a pregnant guinea pig. There's no doubt in my mind. Look how round she is, and she's not even the biggest. This one is insanely round um, and very hungry. And then this one is definitely pregnant also. There's one other in there that if she's pregnant, you know, she's not really showing yet. So four, five, six, seven, four babies and a mama in that one, right? So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then the four hammies. But several of the hammies I've picked up already. And they are very sweet. Not aggressive at all. And uh, I think Fenella is going to be very happy. And I'm grateful. I know you guys are all grateful. Because if you watch this channel, then you care about what happens to these guys. And, and, and you don't want to see animals floundering you know i will again give a shout out to the palmdale animal care center they do an incredible job the staff was very friendly empathetic and pretty knowledgeable uh there was hay they had pellets they had water you know and for an animal care facility they you know where they lack in you know, they just have these cold metal cages with bare minimum and not much space, but they really reach out to rescues and try to get them moving on, just like these are temporary setups, and they will get to We Companions, um, and then We Companions will do their best to find homes as quickly as possible, and so the circle will continue. I'll educate with my videos. They educate during the adoption process, and these guys are on the way to having a great life with the best care and you know a really good setup i i hope so again check my guinea pig care guide if you want to level up your guinea pig care and always think that the minimum isn't enough you know that may sound like an oxymoron or, or a conflicting statement but we can all do better than just giving them the minimum, you know, and I'm so grateful to you guys, all the viewers, my patrons for making this happen. So the next stop is San Diego. Well, I'm heading out <laughs> to go get my oil changed for the trip tomorrow and to get those piggies some veggies and uh, Meg from the guinea pig garden she just messaged me and she said she took those four 
boys to the vet and the vet adopted the littlest boy to pair up with her young piggy and uh, you know there's a pretty good chance that they will get along at that age and the way that young one was so uh, timid but the way he got along with all of his brothers I know they're still young but if you can bond them younger um, and the other one is a little older you know there's a chance that it could stick there's a decent chance that it could stick hopefully they can get past the teenage stage but I just wanted to pass that information along that the one of those four boys just found a home and a new family with a vet so that's amazing, and his new name is Phineas. So. Hi everybody, it's Meg with the Rescue Garden. I'm here today with Samwise, Gimli, and Bilbo. They're settling in really well, already becoming very tame and petable, and we are thrilled to help them on their journey to their forever home. Okay, we are loaded up. Get the hammies in the back. See how the height of this one cage stops this cage from sliding? And then I got another cage up front here and we are good to go. I got my Wee Companions t-shirt so that they know when I get there that I'm legit. <laughs> it's time to go. Who's that? Manila. This is oh, Manila. this is Manila. This Very is one soft of- soft tissue isn't it? It's... Yeah, but is it's that good? There. There's a tumor. Oh no. Right there. Oh, I can see. Does that work? Is that going to require oh, God, surgery? Is that or does that does that? Oh, we don't adopt them out. It's too much. Oh, nuts! Well, yeah, three it's, out of four isn't that bad. Does that just <laughs> does? Uh, She's does, the sweetest one. Does she though. does, she, so does she need a home then? For someone who doesn't mind taking someone with a. Should tumor? I take her back? No. No. We we've oh. got some great. I don't mean to the people. rescue. I meant like to my house. We've got some great hamster people here that might. She's yeah, no, gorgeous. she's amazingly sweet. Look at her color. They're all the sweet, all four of them. Yay! Super sweet. Yeah, Rosie at at West LA. She didn't lie. She was like, no, these ones are I've super sweet. No, and I've got a list of all the other ones that are good too. <laughs> so tell me when you're ready to. Um... I'm ready. This is a nice. Ready. CNC city backdrop. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. Hi everyone. Well, we've just received 16 animals at the shelter, and this is one of them. This is Manila. This is a tiny dwarf hamster yeah. from one of the shelters up north. Um, upon coming in, we noticed that she has a soft little bump here on her, her back, so we need to get that looked at. She's as sweet as sweet. If it is a tumor, um, we will be finding a sanctuary home for her. But look how sweet she is. Yes. So she's one of the four dwarfs that we yeah. brought in today. And she's adorable. And for now, we're going to put her in one of our bins. And we're going to entice her with some of our nice seed and grain mix. And we'll get her some blocks that we um, provide. And surprise, surprise, more night angel. A night angel wheel, which we absolutely love because it's so quiet, doesn't make a noise. <laughs> and uh, we'll give her some, she just arrived, so we'll give her some things for enrichment here. And they'll get settled in very nicely. And then we took in um, 12 guinea pigs um, mm -hmm. that will be assessed and processed through. We have some pregnant ladies. Oh, yeah. That's why we made them a priority to come in. And some mamas nursing teeny tiny little babies. Yes. So um, they will be processed through. This is our adoption center in San Diego. Yeah. And it's not very big. Um, but it's really nice. As you can see, we try and display the guinea pigs in the CNC cages. There's a couple of others that aren't quite as big, but we like people to see what we expect them to provide. 
and we encourage yeah. the use of kitchens um, to keep the areas clean. And I love this. this is a perfect example of how if you have something like this is a really nice size, but still you can overlap the yeah. grids to make it exactly the size of a of a space that you have. This is absolutely it's really beautiful. And these roll. In They're all on. Um, in case you have a party. Well. I wanted them on wheels for cleaning and in case oh, we yeah. had to evacuate them out quickly wow. because of, for example, a fire, they can just be pulled out into the courtyard. Wow. So that's yeah. California for you. Everybody is on wheels. And over here, Scott, come yeah. and look at our adorable. Yes, I noticed look. them. Have you seen? Have you seen the twins? No. Well, I did notice them. Oh my gosh. I really have not had much experience with chinchillas. Hello. You would actually can, love chinchillas. Can, of course. Um, these are baby girls. They're three months old. I think they may even go out today. We've got adoptions scheduled. Um, wow. And it's, it's not that often you get a chance to adopt siblings of the same sex. Um, we like people to provide either a critination or a ferret nation cage. This is a ferret nation. So this is, it's so, the top level. No, this is for display purposes Yes, okay. Only. So you would remove it and it would be so for both sides. It, it can open up and two chinchillas will be expected to be in the whole cage. Very nice. They will be on a very large wheel for running chinchillas love to run and they love multiple levels oh. <laughs> they just love it she knows you're talking about her the girls are only three months old so they don't have lots of legs what, what are their yet. names what are their names are they biters yes you are just they are you're nibblers sherry may Here, sherry can... may and menife you can have a piece <laughs> you can have a piece oh i'm too fast for you here, you can have a little piece. No. <laughs> They're violet in color. And then we have some boys down here. So one of these pairs will be adopted today. And um, we also have a single boy. This is Chili. He's hey, Chili. adorable. Hi, Mr. Chill. We'd love to find him a, a boyfriend to live with. Oh. Hope. I, I know nothing about the, the chinchilla bonding process. What are the chances that two random boy chinchillas would get along? It's very similar to the guinea pigs. Okay, very so, so not pigs. great, but... <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. And they have their lovely Timothy Hay. Yeah. Simple pellets. We keep their Huge diet wheel. very simple. Not too many sweet treats. Is there a special chinchilla pellet? There is just a plain, yeah. plain Timothy Hay base pellet is what they go. need with some alfalfa mixed in because they have a lot of energy. Yeah. And they need a bit more alfalfa than the guinea pigs. And then we have our hamsters, hamster cages. I see. Everybody thinks that the critter trails are the cage for hamsters, and they're absolutely not. Yes, um, those little colorful tunnel oh, things. Terrible, yes. Terrible. So we advocate large cages. And hamsters or... can do just fine in a cage like this with, with the bars and everything? Yes. Okay, I'm learning. We actually sell these very large bins. Yes. Wow. Which work very well for the hamsters. So there we are. We yeah, it's, it's just we, a really nice... We've actually got a couple of rats here today. Yeah, I saw this little puddle. For meeting, little they're puddle. asleep. They're yeah. going home. Oh, they're going home today. That's why they're in the travel cage. Oh. Yeah, yes, obviously our cages for transport are much yes, smaller than what sure. they live in at yes. home. So, so there you go. We Thank you for you sharing it. Us. Yeah. And if it wasn't for the coordination of Scotty, the shelters, him yeah. working closely with the shelters, yeah. and coordinating with us rescues and rescuers, 
I don't know what would happen to these animals. So it's vital that we work together. Yes. And we thank Scotty and oh. his supporters yeah. that help make this possible. Thank you guys so much. Because this is what you're doing when you support Scott with this. Yay business and his videos he yeah. can help us it's yes it's, that's that's my that's down. my mission is to because you guys give so much time so much of your energy so much of your life you know that if i can just do a little to you know it takes take the village. pressure off it takes yeah. a village scott we can't yeah. run up to la no and pick up animals so but it's my pleasure i love to drive you know yeah yeah, yeah. so thank you so much yeah and, Thank if you for sharing in it. San Diego, know that we are here. And, yep. Um, I'll put the I'll put all the con contact info yeah. in the description and right here on the screen. Yeah. So. And we have an adoption application online now. We've oh, moved sweet. into the twenty first century. Wow. <laughs> and it's working well for us. Awesome. Th all right. Thank you, Penella. Maybe she has had her oh, babies. She has but she looks really big too, Scott. Yes. Well, and that one's pretty big as well. And she's separated. She's this ready one to I go. saw some a baby kick this morning. Well, you will have to send me pictures yeah. of the well, babies. Well, you know, as soon as they're born, they're gorgeous. Aww. I'm going to cut some of that wheat grass for yeah. you. Yeah. Ooh, they'll love that. Okay, babies. I mean, mamas. I get so attached. Look, she looks like a pancake. 